Hey my friends, Sean Tierney here, coming to you from the studios at theautomationschool.com. And in this week's episode of The Automation Show, I thought we'd start a new series on HMIs. You know, create little projects, download them, and test them. And for the first episode, this episode, I thought we'd go all the way back to the 90s and try out a panel view standard. This is a panel view 550 touch that a very nice man, Rico, sent us uh, in many years ago. And uh, since this one is DH45, I thought we'd start with this one first, since on the networking side, we were doing a lot of DH45. Now that said, um, I want to look you to look at the board here. You can see I put the 503 back in. A couple other changes I did too, I'll point out. I did put the uh, Micrologix 1100 on there. I had taken it out of the, uh, the demo where I put the Mitsubishi PLC. So I just figured I'd throw it on the board there. I don't have another one of those NC, uh, where is it? <laughs> NC03 cables. So for now, it's just on Ethernet. But I also picked up right there a uh, device net module for the PLC5. Got a great deal on it. It was just like the guy who was selling it just sent me a message offering me um, like a dirt, dirt price on it. It was great. And uh, so I picked that up. So hopefully in the future, we can do some device net. But uh, in any case, um, really just wanted to show you that I put the 503 back in. And uh, of course, I have the PanelView 550 here. It's the only one I have that is a DH485, uh, so that's why we're using it. And uh, of course, I need to plug it in to the network here, so I'll plug it into the link coupler. And um, with that, uh, we're ready to go over to the computer and start programming. But before we do, I just want to say a quick thank you to all our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash automation for supporting the show and for supporting our website, theautomationblog.com. And with that said, let's go over to the computer. Now here you can see I'm in Windows XP from 2001. And um, wow, it was a struggle when I first started working on this yesterday to get ready for the show. It was like, it's old, it's ancient stuff. But in any case, uh, what I did with RS Links Classic, I could not get the driver for XP to work with my UIC, don't know. So I just gave that up after spending 20 minutes and I'm like moving on. And I figured I'd just set up the uh, the KF3 because it's a serial DF1 to DH485. We already saw how to set that all up in that DH45 lesson. But uh, that's what I set up and you can see everything here. See my panel view is at address number two. The slick 503 and uh, everything else. So with that said, let's jump back into the past and open up panel builder 32. And we'll create a new application. And we'll call this, we'll just call it TAS PV550. And we'll do DH45. Okay, so I already did a test program, so it always shows the last one you chose. So you have the PV550, I have the DH45, but mine is a touch screen. Okay, and I'm going to just click on OK. And here we go. This really brings back a lot of memories. Um, in any case, yeah, I think this came out in the early 90s, like early to mid 90s. I remember doing training on it back then. Um, good times. So anyways, uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go into system. No, nope, you know, what? I'm going to go into application settings. I'm going to go into communication setup. You can see node address, maximum node address, board rate. Those are all the right, you know, those all match what I have. Um, here we're going to add some nodes in. So we're going to do our four micros and slick. Again, we'll do the control logics at a later date because it's a little bit more complicated. So I'm just going to click on uh, the insert key, call this ML10, give it a node address of 10, node type, and change to Micrologix. Okay. And um, can I duplicate that? No. Nah. So let me try. Control C, Control V. Nope. So I'll just hit insert, ML12, address 12, Micrologix. No, nope, that doesn't work either. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Then we'll put in our ML14. 14, 14. And that is a Micrologix. Two more. ML15. 15, 15. And Micrologix. Last one. SLC 503. Uh, address 3, I believe, and I think they have 503 here. I'll just do an OS 300. I don't think I'm using any of the newer features. 
and at least in this project. Um, and that's all good. So let me click on OK. And let's see, project. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave, do all that. Power up, startup screen. This will set this by default if you don't choose it, but if you're using an old version of Panel Builder, like really old, it won't. So we'll go ahead and do the proper thing and select it here. Okay. And so now we're ready to create some tags. Okay, let me hit the insert key. The software uses the insert key quite a bit. And here, um, I think my first tag will be ML10 underscore mold one speed. And that is gonna be a signed integer. And that's gonna be in the Micrologix 10 or Micrologix 1000. And um, the address will be N7 colon 53. Okay, now what I can do here is duplicate that multiple times. And I can call it mold two, mold three, get rid of these. We'll just do three for the sake of time. Get rid of this extra one. And then make it 63. When I designed the program for my VOC course, I made sure to make it easy to remember. So everything's off by 10. And uh, this would be mold three speed. Okay, so now I have the three speed values I want to display from one PLC. So now what I'll do is I'll speed up the video and I'll create it for the other four. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got all the uh, tags in for all five of our PLCs, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Now. And then I'm going to come down here to Screen 1, and we will put in, let's start with, uh, start with a little text here. There she is. Not a lot of granularity on this small screen. Let's double click on that, and we'll type in Micrologix 10. We'll keep it simple. Okay. Can't even make this smaller. Look at that. Oh, well. And now we'll put in another object, numeric display. Let's see here. Numeric data display. How's that? Put that there. We're going to double click and edit that. We only need three numbers. And the tag we're going to use is the Micrologix 10 mold one speed. Excellent. Great. Let's do a copy and paste. And we'll make this. Mold speed two, and we'll do a copy and paste and make that mold speed three. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this four times. So I'll be right back. I'll speed up the video and come right back. All right, I think I did it all right without any typos. So the last thing I want to do here is put a go to configure button. Um, the go to configure, we want to be able to get back to the configuration screen and, you know, maybe change the date and time or adjust the uh, brightness of the display or whatnot. So I'm going to do that. If you don't do that, you get a warning. You don't have to have one, but you will get a warning if you don't put one on. So that's under, let's see here, screen selectors, go to config screen. So we'll put that down here. Excellent. So now I think we're ready to try it out. Let me save my work. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll do an application validate all to make sure I have no big mistakes that are going to stop me. It says, nope, no errors found. So now I'm going to go file download and you can see here I've selected RS links network. There's other, you can go directly to it you can do some other things, but um, I prefer RS links if I can. Um, you, you know, memory cards are good good option in case uh, you know you can't bring a computer onto the plant floor or wherever the panel view is but in any case we have our uh, panel view right there so let's go ahead and download to it okay identifying verifying it's the right unit okay and in mere moments it always pauses at that 512 byte so we'll go ahead and fast forward the video here All right, it says it's finished. So let's go out here to the field 
All right, and we can see our data, and it doesn't change really fast at all the defaults, but, uh, you know, maybe every 10 or 15 seconds you'll see those values update. And um, there we go. There was an update right there. So with that, that is how you create a program for a panel view 550 to talk to Micrologics and Slick 500s over um, Data Highway 45. And I know this episode's probably not for many people who are you know more interested in using the latest and greatest, but I figured if we're going to do a whole series on HMIs, might as well start with one of the oldest ones I have. And uh, it was fun. It was fun for me anyways to go back. I hope it was fun for you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And if you'd like to help the show keep going and help our website keep going, please consider a small monthly pledge over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And with that said, I do want to thank the automationschool.com for letting us use their studio and their equipment and an uh, and appreciation if you know anybody who's looking for some training, very affordable training on PLCs, HMIs, and SCADA. Um, and that's where I teach. That's where I work full time. Please have them check out the automationschool.com. And with that, that's the end of this week's episode. So until next time, my friends, peace.